Hi, and welcome to episode 30 of Two Crafty Stitches. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Today is July 9th, 2016. I am Sandy, also known as Nits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75 So today, I don't have an update on my arm because there's been no doctor's appointments. So. No arm update. No jingle. No. Nothing. That, that'll be in a little bit, I'm yep. sure. A couple, Kelly, couple more episodes. Yes. Yes. Kelly does have some I new don't items. Have, I don't have an arm up to update either. No, my, but you have your arms are here. <laughs> well, I hope that they're still attached. Yes, they are. That would be a little bit more of a, you know, an issue. Yes. So I have some new items. Um, so Knit Picks came out with some new Felici colors, and I love me some Felici yarn, and I haven't bought any in a long time. You haven't. Um, and I only bought two of each color. I only have one, one of each color here because the rest of them were put away, and I didn't feel like you know, whatever, it's the same. It's pretty redundant. It would be the same thing. So <clears throat> that was really redundant too. Me saying that. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> but I wasn't <gasps> gonna say anything. That could be one of the tight working title. The redundant episode. Anyway. Um <laughs> the redundant Kelly. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show off some of their new colors because I bought seven of them. But I only bought two of each color, so I can make like a pair of socks or whatever with each one. Um so anyway, this is called Ever After. I really like them. I like the I, I like them all. all what? The ones that I purchased. You do? Yeah. Um this one is called Dark Side. Ooh. I like this one a, real, a lot. I do. And then there's this one which is Balloon Ride. It's very bright. It is very bright. And I bought Bubble. Plus there might be some um baby knitting for a coworker, oh, so I yeah. got a blue color and I got a pink color and I got a blue color and the blue one. Say, I didn't see that blue one. Is beyond the wall. Oh, I did see that one. I did like. Yeah, it. it's yeah. like blues and grays. Of course, you would. I know that one. Yes. And then I got this one, which is called Lost Lakes. Oh, that one was really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, I got this one, which I debated on getting, but then I was like, ah, oh, might as well. Um, and this one is Sunset. I like that one. So. It reminds totally me not of my South colors. Carolina. Yeah, it's not like, really my colors, but I was like, oh, because you got great. it for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, those are my new purchases for this time. And um, <laughs> you like how I did that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we don't know if there's anything that's in the works because she's not going to admit it right now, but there might be more for purchases. What? No. No, there are not at this time. Because you come and you're like, yeah, so I didn't think I was <laughs> going to buy something, but I bought something last week, and it just came in, so it's just yeah. now officially a purchase. Nope. So anyway, but I do have two weeks till our next episode. So. Yeah. Anyway. Um, speaking of nitpicks, Felice, <laughs> I finished a pair of socks, and I was going to put these on the sock blockers, but I forgot, so well. <laughs> and I'm not going to go get them. Yeah, because I don't even see where they're They're at. over there. They're they're clear. You can't see them. I um, can't. Anyway, these are the socks I've been working on. Socks for my mother. Yay. So they are Out done. Out of the... Um, Knit Picks Felici. Meadow. No. Um, oh, that was the other one. I don't know. It wasn't Meadow. It was um something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was something or other. Uh, one, of their, one of their older colors that they don't have anymore. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> so does it really matter? No. Unless you buy it on Ravelry and D-Stash, and then you just go, it's the one with, like, these colors. <laughs> two greens, two blues, an orange, and a purple. Yes. I don't know. Was Good it like, job, Kelly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm on summer brain time, so there you go. More so than usual, because normally, you know, I am kind of ditzy anyway. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. Hey, you know that. what? I say it. So I'm going to get in trouble go. if I say anything. Nah. nah, you won't. All right. So, so my finished objects. Yes. Will cover the entire screen. So Yay. I'm not going to show it all. Oh, you're not going to so, cover the screen? I've done that before. I know, mine. but it's like it'll be off the screen. So I have my clapo T. It's okay. It's only my head here. <laughs> just stick it up over the. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's been a week since we've hung out, so yes, I have to give her a hard time. <laughs> yes. 
So I finished my. We shouldn't go this long without hanging out. Especially on weekends when we record. Yes. <laughs> so we did hang out some, and then I got pie. Yes. So. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, so Yes, we'll talk not... about our adventures today later. Yeah. Yes. Because we are recording again on a Saturday, which seems to be our pattern lately. I know. Although next weekend we're getting together on Sunday, so we'll be back to normal. Yes. Because I am going to an indoor arena football game. Yes. Because this whole, like, Saturday thing really messes with my schedule. Because then I think tomorrow is Monday and I have to work. And the next weekend when we get together on Sunday, I won't have to work on Monday because summer school will be <laughs> over. So I don't even know. Last and time we got together on a Sunday, you didn't have to work the next day. I know. freaking out again. I know. See? I don't know. Anyway. So, so anyways, I finished my clap o team. Yes. And I just woven in all the ends, like, ten minutes ago. Yep. But I finished <laughs> it last week. Yes. So... I'm just lazy when it's it comes to It's very nice and snuggly warm. Yes. And we'll Kelly's dog really enjoyed it in this hot summer heat yeah. of Florida. <laughs> um, one of the other things I finished mm -hmm. is also nitpicks. It is nitpicks my, Felici. <laughs> yeah, nitpicks Felici is my firefighter sock. Yes, and the dog is downstairs going crazy right now. Yes. So, who knows? She probably saw something out the back door. And you know what? I forgot. I do have technically other finished things that okay. I did, but we'll get to those. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Because you showed them to me last week, and we didn't record. And I know. So and we so don't you think forgot. I know. So I Here started comes the dog um, up the stairs and in to join us. Hey. <laughs> so I started my um, neck sock, which is not very far along. Uh-huh. But last week, <laughs> I made little DPN holders. Yes. So, a little metal clip, and I made one for this year, uh, sock, which you can't see that there's a sock in there because it completely covers <laughs> it's it so right tiny. now, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Yes. And then I started another sock, which is out of Premier Yarns, which is a Serenity yarn in the woodsy green color and <laughs> which you can see so well yeah, with our saying. dark shirts dark couch <laughs> and dark yarn there you go there oh, you go looks, oh yes so that it is nice. the yeah. uh, manoa pattern that's on nitty for free the newest nitty yes the newest one the mm -hmm. fall yeah which there you it go it's very nice yes and if you brought out the sock blocker then i would have remembered to put it on a blocker oh, yeah well and then <laughs> The when you have more of it done, we'll pull it out. The yes, because then it'll be like, impressive. It's not that it's not impressive now, but it is. <laughs> it's okay. And my little DPN is little pirates. Yes, because you know, Florida, Tampa, Buccaneers. Yep. But the only like dark inside I had was pink polka dots. <laughs> so I love it. Yes. And you did those like from a tutorial or something online. I did. Yeah. But I don't remember which one. Well, no, I was just asking. Yes. I, I saw a tutorial, and it gave me the dimensions, mm -hmm. and then you pretty much just get the two. I didn't put interfacing in this, okay. and sew them together, then sew the edges, except for like a little bit, flip it inside out, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Yes. Um. So those are my two works in progress, but in case anybody... Did not get to see. Oh, the pattern. Yeah, the pattern. Yes. I did have it up. And it's that free. That is the back of it. So there is a cable on the back. Mm -hmm. And then the front side is super cable -y, if you mm -hmm. can see with the glare, which is awesome. There we go. There you go. Yeah. But um, what I didn't realize getting into it mm -hmm. is there is a chart for the front of the sock yeah and then chart for the back of the sock oh <laughs> so oh and whoops. there goes the ipad <laughs> yep. it's luckily second, it's in an honor box yeah that's the second time i've dropped it yes in the last 10 minutes <laughs> yeah about that but that's yeah. okay so that is all of my current works in progress and finished objects yes well i only have one work in progress because i this is the thing 
<laughs> you know, when you don't have a work in progress, that's how you start it. You're I know. Like, this is the thing. <laughs> things are just going crazy. No, it's not even things are going crazy. This I, is the thing. I finished it, and I only finished those socks just the other day, like Thursday or Friday. I don't even remember. It was Thursday or Friday. One of those two. Anyway. Um, and, <laughs> and, and then I get to the point where I'm like, I don't know what I want to make. And I think, I don't know what pattern I want to make. I don't know what yarn. And it's not like I'm hurting for yarn because I have tons of yarn. And I'm like, oh, should I make another pair of socks? You know, I don't know. Um, I actually was touring, toying with the idea of pulling out some of the sock yarn since I have now caught up, or not caught up, but I've got, I think, six pairs of socks now done for my mother. Mm -hmm. So that's like at least, if I give her two pairs of socks, that's like the next three gift events. You know, I mean, you've got birthday, Christmas, and next Mother's Day covered. So I was thinking maybe in an, another effort to use some more of my sock yarn stash, you know, in addition to just knitting them for her, maybe I would start like knitting some um, socks for my aunts. <laughs> so, That'd be really cute. Yes, they would because they all have about the same size feet. <laughs> so <laughs> and they, they all have small feet. So I was thinking maybe I would just knit them each a pair and um, maybe one for my mom's cousin and that type of stuff because they're all up. Uh, where it gets cold in the winter. So, um, and they appreciate hand knit items. So I thought maybe I'll knit a pair, maybe some out of some new Felicia, who knows, maybe some of my Felician stash. I don't know. But at this point, I'm kind of like, meh, I don't know what yarn I want to knit. I don't know what I want to knit. Um, because the other project I have is being ripped out and hasn't been ripped out yet, but it is. So, <laughs> and that is your cowl. That is the cowl with my Maryland sheep and yes. wool fabric, which I will talk about for a second before I get to my actual work in progress. Cause now I'm talking about knitting and then I'll move into my work in progress. But anyway, I think this is the pattern that I'm going to do, which is the declination infinity cowl with it which is a bias knit little bit of a little lacy, but I mm -hmm. think that the colors That's might cute. pop a little bit more. And it's written for about as much yardage as I have in a DK weight. And it's something that I would wear more than the other one um, <laughs> that I was knitting. So um, that's a possibility. I don't know, we'll see. But what I have been kind of working on since I finished the socks a day or day and a half ago or whatever it was, is um, some spinning that I've been working on for a while. Um, and look, it looks like I got so much done, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> really haven't. Because um, I had some singles that I had done on a little small Turkish spindle, and I just kind of like, because I've been doing this, um, the ply on the fly, because it's my um, 45 Snyder spindles, the 45 top-down spindle, whatever. I don't know, top-world spindle. and um, The one so, that's made for the ply on yes, the fly. Yes, that's made for ply on the fly. So um, what I did was I took the singles that I had, which were from about, like, one strip of fiber, I think, maybe a full strip, I don't know. And I pulled that off, and um, and I attached it to this and just did all the plying mm -hmm. on it. So, it, so that's why it looks like there's, like, so much more than last time, because I plied all that, and then I started spinning up the next little strip. Um, so that's what I was working on yesterday. I know I worked on this yesterday for about 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to show um, not only this, but which I'm liking this. And I liked it just even for doing like just the end ply, like oh, really? just the chain ply, even like what, cause you know, I didn't have to spin it. It's nice, you know, to do this ply on the fly, but it also, if in the future, if I ever am doing like some spindle spinning and I want to chain ply, I'll use this or I have a wooden one of these. Um, because it made it very, very easy because of just the design. So Snyder spindles. Anyway, I wanted to show what I keep my little spindle in, which is this container, which has a lid. And, and it is about what? Two uh, inches by two inches? Yeah, um, I don't know. It's a Systema container. I bought it on um, Amazon. I think it was a two pack, because I have another one. So either that or I bought two of them, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, it's a cracker container. <laughs> <laughs> Repurposing. But it is the perfect size. Some I saw someone on Instagram was using it, and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And it is just the perfect size because I have, like, you know, some of the fiber in there. And then you just take that, and it protects your spindle. And then the lid just snaps on. And you are good to go. Yeah. So, and plus it looks really cool, I think, with all the <laughs> colors of the fiber down there. But anyway, so... It reminds me of, like, that sand art. Yeah, it does. Top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is only, like, half of the fiber, because the other half I haven't even, like, split or done anything with, because I have to finish this first. So that's what I've been kind of working on. And you also have some other stuff you need to finish. 
Yes, I do, but anyway. Some other yarn spinning. Which I looked <laughs> on my Instagram, and I started in January, so. Oh, you can so do it. I have so much <laughs> faith. So we'll see. And you know why you are spinning this right now? It's because you are not participating in Tour de France. Well, now that you said that, I'm not going to do any spinning for the next, the rest of the time. You know. Oh, please. Anyway. I even did a little bit of spinning, which I didn't <laughs> yes. bring because it was only about two minutes worth. And right. And I was like, oh, okay, this is way too much right now. Yes. But <laughs> since we are on the subject of spinning, mm -hmm. and I already brought up how the Nitty um, magazine came out for fall, mm -hmm. um, one of their articles which is um, the Nitty Spin. It was talking about the woolen or worsted uh, drafting mm -hmm. on which one you are. Okay. Have you heard of that? What do you mean on which one you are? Like, are you a woolen drafter or a woolen spinner or I'm a worsted. worsted. Because I thought you'd be more woolen because... It's woolen is long draw and I don't long draw. No. That's what everything I've read says. No, because this went into mm -hmm. it. It's not about... Um, how you Because woolen is like it's loftier. You, yeah, and, and yours is, is yours is a lot loftier than mine. Mine is lofty because mine like when like I when I said it when I dense. it like poofs up because I don't think I put enough twist in it. Yeah, because there's more air. Yeah, in it, so I don't know which makes it more woolen. I don't know anyway. because the woolen is ex actually where you hold your yarn and let the twist come in. So if you just let like pull it back and let the twist keep on going, mm -hmm. or if but you, that's how you spin woolen. Or when you're if, spinning woolen, you it's you long draw and you let the twist come in that way. Or if you let go and then let the twist come in after here. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, it shows it. Uh, it goes into depth. It gets. It's fun. a very short article, but it, I thought it was pretty interesting. <laughs> so that's the picture it says mm -hmm. that it references on where you let your twist go in. Okay. And it has nothing to do with like. Um, so it's talking about what type, it's not talking about the method of spinning that you're doing. No, it's talking about are well, you woolen everything. or worsted because apparently this lady teaches classes and people are always confused and they start going, um, saying, well, I can't do that because I spin this way. Um, mm -hmm. and she's like, no, 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 that has nothing to do with like which direction you're going, you know, if you're pulling or yeah. So. Because all the spinning books and stuff that I've read have always said, like, woolen is like a long draw, and worsted spinning is like a short draw. No, it's, um, how... Who wrote the, this article? It is. <laughs> where is it? There's videos, too. Oh, okay. I'll have to look into that. It's a uh, Jillian... I'm sorry Marino? if I... know. Yeah, if we, um, mess up yeah. her name, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little more, because that kind of contradicts everything that I've ever read book-wise and article-wise on spinning. So, <laughs> yep. so I thought it was really interesting because you can do backward and forward with right. it and it could go either way. Yeah. It's all about where you let the twist come in. Hmm. And woolen is a lot more loftier. Yeah. And I've noticed my spinning compared to yours, yours, even if I let mine soak for like a long time, mine mm -hmm. won't plump up as much. Oh. See, I don't like it that it plumps up so much because oh. I'm trying to, I'm always trying to spin it thinner. And you spin yours, like, super thin, though. You spin yours, like, yeah. so much thinner than I do. Yeah, but sometimes I just want it to, like, yeah. be a little bit more airy, but it's not. It's, like, like my gray. That was, like, Yeah, because, like, this stuff for me, as a three-ply, this is probably the thinnest I've ever spun as a okay. three-ply. And, and that that's is pretty like, thin. Right, but that's, everything else is not. Like, this back here is not. Are they both? One of them's, um, no, one of them's a chain-ply and the other one's a two-ply. Okay. The one on... Your side is a is chain ply. Chain? Yeah. Yep. That's some um, fiber I got from someone in Australia, and it was called "You're in My Spot" or something like that because it's a Big Bang Theory. It's supposed oh, to be the, yeah, the color yeah, yeah. of the pillow that's on the on the couch. Yeah, I remember when yeah. you got that. Yeah. Yeah, that was really pretty. Yes. And it still is. <laughs> it was until I spun it. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> it still was. I, I, afterwards, I said, it, "I'm like that came out really wrong." <laughs> Well, and the so. other one is from, I think the other one, I've got tags on them, but I'm not going to get up to look at them. Um, I'll just let Sandy <laughs> lean back. No, the I other one. This one. No, the other one. That one. Yes. I think it's Three Waters Farm. It's a it club. It is. Yeah. I think it's from one of their clubs. Like November? Their November. Yeah. Morning? Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. Because that was not awkward what you just saw right there. No. At all. No. <laughs> 
so um, I wanted to talk for a minute because there was a new pattern that was released recently um, that I purchased. What? Yes. Um, I didn't know any. See, there was more new stuff. <laughs> but it's it's a pattern. It's not. Anyway. Um, let me get to the beginning. It is Susan B. Anderson, who she's written books um, on, mm. like, stuffed toys and stuff. She came out with the Smooth Operator socks. And I can show you the front because it's just a picture because it is a paid-for pattern on um, Ravelry. And I think that this weekend only it's, like, $3.50, and then it's probably going to go up to $5. Really? Um, but it is a top-down sock pattern for self-striping with a new construction of an afterthought heel. And mm. it's supposed to, like... You're supposed to be able to keep, like, your matching, you know, everything matching, sock-wise, like, stripe-wise, all the matching, matchy-matchy socks, basically. Um, but I'm anyway, that you wanted that. Well, I just, matchy, wanted, matchy. I just wanted to see the new Afterthought heel design that she had, honestly, and I was like, for $3.50, I will yeah. pop down the money and get it. And she had, the nice thing, though, um, I kind of, like, glanced through it a little bit. It's, like, 14-page pattern. It's very, very detailed because she has it in there, like, as she says, in a conversational style where it's, like, written out everything. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, she has, like, a one-page pattern, too. But, um, like, the tutorial version, I can show Sandy, but I can't show you guys because it's a paid-for pattern. But anyway, um, she has... I can just look over Yeah, she has everything that... She ha has how to do it on DPNs and then also the instructions on how to do it Magic Loop. So I thought that was very nice. And then she has, like, lots and lots of pictures of everything. Um, that is a lot of pictures. I know. And then she has, like, the short version, which is, like, just three pages long <laughs> at the end. Um, so if I guess you needed to print it and take it with you or something. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to see the new Afterthought Heel and see if there were any. And there's supposed to be a lot of tips in there on how to match them. Not that I really match my socks, but you never know. So. I do. I'm trying <laughs> to match mine. We'll see how it comes out. Yeah. I think it's going to be within, like, a row or two. Okay. I hope. Yes. Well, that'll be good. Um, so that's all of my knitting-related stuff. Me too. Now, I did finish Parks and Rec, which I told you about already. Yes, you did. Um, and I haven't really started anything else. Oh, no, that's a lie. Okay. Josh and I started watching Better Call Saul. Oh, it's on okay. The, um, the spinoff of Breaking Bad. Yes. I haven't watched that yet. No, um, we're only, I think, episode four or so mm -hmm. in season one. Okay. And, and there's only like two seasons so far, right? Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, I have to say, the first few episodes, if I wasn't watching it with Josh, because, you know, we're both watching it, so we're like, okay, let's get through it. Um, it was a little slow to get into, mm -hmm. but it's picking up some. Okay. So. I'm still in the middle-ish. No, I'm like middle second half of season three of Gilmore Girls. Um, oh, and we went to the movies on the 4th of July. Yes, you did. Well, I, you didn't, but no, John and I went, yes, you did. <laughs> went to the movies. Um, and we saw Now You See Me 2, the sequel to Now You See Me. And um, it was a good movie. I will say I that. I seen it. Yeah, it was. Well, and you know what? I would lend it to you, except that the teacher still has mine. And she forgot to bring it in. She watched it, too. Um, but anyway, um, it was good. I'm not going to say it was a bad movie, but the first movie was, like, amazing, and the second movie I don't think lived up to it. But, I mean, it still was a good movie. So the third movie would probably be a little bit better. They're going to make a third movie. Really? Yeah, in the next, wow. I think in seven, 2017 or 2018, I saw somewhere online saying that they're going to make a part three, which I don't really, I don't know, I can't give away, but I don't really see how they can make a part three based on the part two. But anyway, you never know. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, every time you start um, bringing up Gilmore Girls, I'm like, I can't say anything because it's going to give away so much. We nah. have so much more to go to. Yes, I have like four and a half seasons to finish. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I got through it so quickly is because I had all that time off and I right. was just like... Well, and I have time you. off too, but I mean, I'm, I'm like watching an episode like in the morning before I go to work and then I come home from work and I watch an episode before I go to the gym and then like at night because there's really not a lot of TV on right now because it's the summer. Um, and even if there is, I record it and watch it later so I can skip all the commercials. Um, cause like, um, Scream the TV series is back on. And so. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, season two. And so, but I watched that the next day so I can fast forward through all the commercials. <laughs> is it people so, like Scream? No, it's like the movie Scream. Oh. But it's a TV series on MTV. Really? Yes. And it's in season two. Huh. Mm-hmm. I've never, yeah. I yeah. Don't know. I told you about it before. I don't but, remember. Yeah. 
Anyway, um, so it's there's... probably, like, last year. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it was, like, the first yeah. season. But anyway, so season two is up, so, um, but that's only, like, one episode a week, so... So I'm getting through about, like, two or three Gilmore Girl episodes a day. I know, but no, what I was saying right, is I, I was know. just off You were just completely. able to watch it. Yeah. I couldn't do right. anything else. Right. Or else I'd get yelled at. Yes. And I didn't want to get yelled at. Right. So. so. Yep. Um... Um, I'm just trying to think. I have been listening to my Outlander audiobook. Some. Okay. So I'm about halfway through book three. No, more than halfway through because there's four parts in my thing, and I am halfway through part three. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. It's yeah. probably only like another 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been reading anything or listening to anything book wise in the car. No. Nope. Because so. it's the summer. And I'm hoping. <laughs> And I was telling you this, um, that once we, my office moves, then we'll have access to the corporate gym again mm -hmm. in the building, and then I could read and or listen to stuff while I'm on a bicycle, because that's yeah. the only type of cardio workout that I should be doing. Right. So. Which you can do. Yes. I cannot, because I am not good on a bicycle. I would fall off. It's good. I, have I know, it's a stationary yeah. bicycle. No, the that one that's off. leaning back. Oh, see, and I really can't do that one. Because they said <laughs> I could use the regular one, mm -hmm. but I have to make sure I'm not, like, leaning, leaning on or it, right. putting any right. pressure on this. And they would strongly advise me not to well, do that Well, get one. on the recumbent one. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I know, that's what I'm saying. Get on that one, get yourself comfortable, get your legs moving, and watch some stuff on your iPad or something. Yeah, the oh. only thing I don't like is mm -hmm. the one when I used to live in an apartment that we had didn't have, like, a stand, so I had to, like, hold it the entire oh, time. okay. And it was just... My, um, my trainer, when I go to her house, she has a recumbent bicycle that converts into a, an elliptical. Oh. You can use it as either one, and it's pretty cool. I prefer it as the elliptical, though. Does she make you use it as a bicycle? Sometimes, but not that often, normally. <laughs> normally. She did the first couple times right after she got it. Are, and are then ever since then, she's just, like, just get on the elliptical. Are you going to tell them why you don't like the bicycle? Because I never learned to ride a bicycle, and I'm not good at it. <laughs> when we're at the gym. Yeah. Well, when we were at the gym. Well, we'll be back at the gym eventually, yes. so you can say when we're at the gym. And we would have to do, like... You'll be back at the gym. Yes. I've still been at the gym. Yes. <laughs> we would have to be, like, doing bicycles in the air. Mm -hmm. She'd finally, like, get the, to go forward, and they say backwards, and she's like, oh, man. Yes. I can't do the backwards. <laughs> Yes, because it would take me, like, until the very last possible second to get the forward motion going. And then they're like, all right, everyone, bicycle backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then my, I just my be over there laughing. Looks, looks like a dying cockroach, pretty much, so. <laughs> oh. It's all awkward and whatever. It, the, um, sometimes when I go, they, it, they, 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 the uh, trainer makes us do this thing called the struggling baby. Have I told, I haven't told no. you this story. So you have to like lay on your back and it's, I can't demonstrate it here because like whatever, but you lay on your back and you put your feet in the air and you're doing kind of like bicycles with your legs, but at the same time you're doing this with your arms, like you're strugg a struggling baby trying to get up or something or whatever, or like an upended turtle, I guess, trying, I don't know. Anyway, um, and he's like, and it's the struggling baby. I'm like, or me on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. gym is that at? Not the first one, but the second one, right? Yes. Not your trainer, but the second. The, not the newest one, but the one that was newest before that. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm wow. kind of trying out gyms right now. There's like... Testing out a bunch of them. I go to like four. four. <laughs> yeah. So. For different things. <laughs> well, three of them are for boxing stuff, but like... <laughs> But, like, one of them, I only go there, like, once a week to, like, work mitts, well, twice a week now, to work mitts with just, like, one-on-one -on -one with a trainer, and, um, and then, um, yeah, the other two are, like, gym gym type things, so. Then yep. I'm trying to decide between the two as to which one I want to be, since, since Sandy cannot be there right now, and, um, yeah. Yeah. It's been really, really rough on my motivation to even get there, so. But I'm still going. Which is all that counts, so. You have to go for me and work twice as hard. Yeah, that so doesn't. Do I tell myself back to that back. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help. So anyway, just get that ball ro rolling right meow. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to put that on the blog. Yes, yes. Sandy made a meme with her cat. 
Yes. Because he was being so adorable and he was looking at me going <laughs> while I was trying to work and Yeah. I was like, Yeah, if you could get on that, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> he reminded me of the um of an office space cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All I needed was like a coffee mug or something. Yep. But um, it is what TPS reports. Yes. That, that's what Josh started off with. It's like, there was no cover on that TPS report that you submitted yesterday. Like, we can make it say whatever. Yep. So. Anyway. Well, I think that that's probably, that's about it, right? For us? Um, as we're thinking. And, yes, you know, we used to do this show with show notes. We, we really did. We haven't for like 20 episodes. I think that lasted maybe the first 15, the first half. We're on 30 now, so, you know. Yeah. We just kind of wing it. It might not have even been 15, but... I'm, I'm being nice and generous in my... Uh, not guessing. continuously 15. Yes. We'll, we'll put it that way. <laughs> um, I think that's it, because the other stuff you're going to go see later on, on the movies... Yes. And when I'm I have a week off from when summer school's over. Oh! So. You said the... Uh, when I was talking about pie. Oh, yeah, what well, we did like, today. We'll yes. talk about that later. Well, yeah, because that's what we can talk about during this time in the episode. So. I keep on rolling my eyes at you. You do, <laughs> I know. It's from the beginning of this. Kelly is redundant <laughs> and Sandy rolls her eyes. Yes. Anyway. Um, so today we went, um, for, I picked Sandy up. Well, I worked out of the gym. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I went home and changed my shirt into a less sweaty one. Well, like a clean shirt because mine was all like totally sweaty. <laughs> not, a, not a less sweaty one. That came out really wrong. Because <laughs> that's how, how I roll at the gym. <laughs> this one's not as sweaty. But no, I came home and took the really sweaty shirt off. <laughs> and I put on a, a clean one. A clean workout shirt. And I don't know why. It happens to be less sweaty. I don't know why this is important to the story. I don't but know. it is. Anyway. So then you came and picked me up. So I picked Sandy up. Yeah. And I took her to... to Gym the, number three. <laughs> um... Well, yes, of actual gyms, yes. Yeah, of your gyms. <laughs> well, no, because, well, anyway, yes. So, I, gym number three, because I went um, for a techniques class. Oh, no, um, I guess it would be gym number four. Yes, it would be gym, okay, number, gym four. number four. to <laughs> gym number four for a techniques class, because um, we used to have the techniques class at gym number one, but that trainer left and opened gym number four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and is offering the same class just at a later time in their own gym. Now, so, if anybody... <laughs> that is my what? doctor or anybody sandy sat and knit i did not do anything and watched yes Just watched i did not i feel like out. we need a flow chart of gyms though <laughs> yes. for this episode <laughs> i think you need to work on that um <laughs> i'm gonna keep on rolling my eyes at you <laughs> so um so anyway yes yeah, so i well we were supposed to meet someone we hadn't seen in a while well sandy hadn't seen in a while there and then it turns out she couldn't be there but anyway we were gonna she, Sandy was going to hang out and just like check out the gym and not work out. And she did not work out. She sat on the floor and watched and knit. Um, and so we um, did our little class and then we went out to lunch. This is all before we recorded. It's been a very long day. Yes. Um, <laughs> and it's only like, it's five o'clock already. It was like wow. three o'clock when we left the restaurant. So we went to Village Inn <laughs> and had breakfast after working out and yes. then we had pie because it is my mom's yes i birthday. figured i would let you describe yes. this to, you know go take over yeah. at this point go ahead okay well i wasn't sure it got yes. a little quiet yeah well, so that was my cue <laughs> <laughs> that's why i just started doing it yes so every year kelly and i get together and we have pie to celebrate my mom's birthday today she would have been 69 yes and i only figured that out because my sister was asking me how old she would have been which, yes. apparently, I'm the only one that remembers her birth year. <laughs> so. So, Sandy ordered the French silk pie, as yes. she usually does. And I ordered the coconut cream pie, because I really like coconut cream pie. It is one of my favorite pies in my list of top pies that I like. It's all coconutty. Yes. Oh. And, um, <laughs> so, it's in the title. Yeah. And, um, so, I ordered it, and then they came back and they said, we don't have any coconut cream pie. So, then I had to go with a backup pie. Hold on, but that so, was after the lady was like, that's my favorite pie. I yes. love that pie. And was just going off Yeah, on and then yeah. she comes back, I'm so sorry, we don't have any coconut cream pie. 
And because I'm not a big French silk pie person, it's a little too chocolatey for me. But anyway, and you're not a fruit. And pie. I don't like the fruit pies unless strawberry rhubarb. If they had had strawberry rhubarb, oh, I would have gone with that one. That's I love a, strawberry yeah, rhubarb. That's about the only fruit pie that I like. Um, not the coconuts, not like a fruit or whatever. But anyway, I mean, like no, you it's know, like the cream pies, right? Like the cream yeah. pies, I like a lot better than like the cherry pies or the apple pies. Oh, I love so, those. um, anyway, I <laughs> just got all the pies. <laughs> so. So then I said, okay, well, fine, give me the banana cream pie. Even though I don't really like banana cream pie, I mean, it's okay. It's like, it's like probably 15 on my list of pies that I like. <laughs> okay, so we have coconut cream. Yes. <laughs> that peanut butter pie. Yes. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Yes. Key lime pie, if it does not have a graham cracker crust. Yes. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Strawberry rhubarb, yes. Lemon meringue goes in there somewhere. Oh, I yeah. thought that was like lower down because you didn't want the lemon. Meringue. I didn't wasn't in the mood for meringue today. Oh, so, <laughs> so. <laughs> the list of Kelly's pies. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, "Fine, give me the banana cream." And then I said, "Wait a second, before," because she said, "Okay, well, I have to go back there and check to see if we have it." And I was like, "Well, let me give you a backup to the backup pie just in case." <laughs> so I said, "If you do not have the banana cream, bring me the French silk pie." And so, With a heavy sigh. Because because those were the only, like, cream pies they had. Although they had some that were, like, brownie caramel stuff, and that is just too rich. So it was, like, layer of brownie, layer of caramel pecan stuff, layer of, I don't know. And yeah, it if it didn't have the pecan much. stuff, I probably would have got just, that one. I think it was too much. But anyway, yeah. um, I do like pecan pie, too. But that I, wasn't, was on that. I wasn't in the mood for it. It was too sweet today. I had pancakes and then pie, okay? <laughs> yes, but I worked out for two hours. So At two different gyms. <laughs> two different gyms. <laughs> and the first one tried to kill us. So anyway, a new trainer. So anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so then they came back with two slices of French silk pie. So I had to eat French silk pie today. Which it was okay. Was great because that was one of my mom's favorite pies. Although she liked anything that was sweet. Yes. Um, one of her, but I said, this yeah. is your mom doing I know. this saying, no, this year, Kelly, you will eat French silk pie. Because every year I get like coconut cream or whatever. Yeah. whatever you normally else. do get coconut. I do because yeah. I like. That's the only time I really eat coconut cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if it was my mom, she would have said, "Oh, well, you guys can't have any of your regular food until after you eat your pie. You need to eat all of your dessert first. Oh, well, because that's what we would do. Well, then they went. The the thing yeah. was they hadn't made the pies yet, and we were there. It was like, what we got there. Well, we left the gym around one thirty, so we yeah. got there let's say by two. And they hadn't made, they're like, oh yeah, sorry, we haven't really made the pies yet. And, and like, it was like about like o'clock in the three. afternoon on a Saturday. When we were leaving, it was, well, when we got our pie, it was probably like three o'clock. Yeah. And I was like, it's like three o'clock on a Saturday. What do you mean you haven't finished making your pies? So anyway, so if we had started with pie, we would have had probably even less choices. They would have been like, oh, here, you can have like, you know. No, it would still would have been the French cherry silk. pie or something. I don't know. I love cherry pie. <laughs> I would have been okay with or that. apple pie. Or I love you know. apple pie. I love it a lot more when it's a Dutch apple pie because it's less of that nasty pie crust. Oh, I love the pie crust. And my oh. pie crust today honestly didn't taste very fresh. No, that's why I think it was. I know. I think it yeah. was leftover from yesterday pie. At least yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway. That's but my pancakes religion. were good. And my eggs were cooked properly, so. Yep. <laughs> Which is all burnt and dry. <laughs> <laughs> Complete but, opposite. Yes. Well, that's why we're friends. Yes. So. We have to <laughs> level each other out sometimes. Yes. <laughs> A lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> And during, during your arm thing, I'm like, I have to work out more! Because Andy <laughs> can't! Yeah, because I'm trying and to I'm balance like, things I'm out. I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. And, and eat bonbons. Bon ice cream. She's like, I'm just going to sit here and eat bonbons and knit. And Kelly's like, I'm at the gym for three more hours. <laughs> I've never had a bonbon. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I always talk about them, but I've actually never had one. Hmm. I had to explain what they were to Josh, though, because he didn't know. Oh. Yeah. I can't believe you never had a bonbon. No, we didn't have it. I never had actual Cracker Jacks until like two years ago. I know. Deprived. I had my like first moon pie with you. Yes. So. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Meh. And you had never made Rice Krispie Treats either. Nope. I'm not very good at making Rice Krispie <laughs> Treats. Something like super intricate or like making pies and 
cakes from scratch and you know all that stuff I can do but <laughs> rice crispy treats nope it's just like boiling eggs I cannot boil an egg oh see so I have an egg timer thing that you put in with the egg and it, I do too and it like changes color and when it's yeah. done you pull them out yeah that's still iffy <laughs> it's like, and growing plants I killed my rosemary plant oh. I killed it mm -hmm. Oh, one of the things that I am trying to do, yes, because I am so good at gardening, uh huh, is regrow stuff from my kitchen scraps. Oh, okay. So like, not I, in the yard. Mm -hmm. Just checking. No, if I you're would. out there in the yard gardening. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. Okay, so it's not that far yet. Okay. So um, I mean, I've tried the pineapple before, and so we did it again. The reason it didn't work the first time is because somebody actually picked the pineapple plant mm -hmm. before any pineapples were coming out. Oh. Because they thought the pineapple grew underground and not up top. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm assuming because why else would you pick a yeah, pineapple plant? Yeah. Um, so green onions grow really quickly. Mm -hmm. It takes like two days and they re-sprout. Yeah. And you just like clip the very bottoms of them and put in water. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Okay. And I am doing some romaine lettuce right now. Oh. You'll have to so, let me know how that goes. So far, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming it's growing because it looks like it's higher than the rest and it's not just, like, poofing out. Mm hmm But, like, the... I started yesterday, I yeah. think. Yeah. You should take and pictures it's like and document it on Instagram. I should. Yes. That means I need to clean my kitchen window then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or, like, set it aside. Just set the dog at it and it'll lick it clean. It's... Well, I guess it is Klaus Klaus reach height. It. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to train him to do any more stuff over it's there. It's not like it's not like if we were trying to bring Lucy over there, go look at the window and she'd be jumping and No, you put at her it. up on the counter. <laughs> With her little yeah. tiny tongue. Yeah. It would take like three days. I know. <laughs> Klaus would just make it more streaky. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So All right. So, I'll try and take some pictures and put it on Instagram. Yes. And you can find us on Instagram. Ooh. And we're going to go in the reverse order, because Sandy's talking about pictures she might put up there. And so, her Instagram is... Knits and Bits. And mine is PearlyGirl75. Um, we also are on YouTube under Two Crafty Stitches, which you would probably know since you're watching this. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully you're watching this and anyway. Um, then also we have our blog, which is twocraftystitches.wordpress.com, which I need to update this weekend. Maybe tomorrow. I have time tomorrow. Because um, it's not Monday. Because you know what? <laughs> if I do that, then I don't have to spin. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> We're moving that spinning wheel downstairs yeah. before I leave. Okay, I'd like to see you move the spinning wheel downstairs. I will, just not very well. <laughs> it falls. <laughs> anyway, um, we also have a Twitter account, which... We is uh, Two Crafty Stitches, and we use that to update you guys to let you know when we have new episodes up and when we've recorded them so you know to start, like, stalking our YouTube page. Um, we also put that on our own Instagrams, too. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's what? It for us on social media? Did I get it all? Um, yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> all the ones that we normally hit. All the so. ones that we use. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we will see you again in two weeks on either a Saturday or a Sunday whenever we record it. Yep. yep. Well, happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.